do you think that men are under just as much pressure as, as women to get the perfect body? I do, but can I first say, nobody should be fat shamed. Women no. are men. It's shocking. No, it's it's shocking. Not shocking. It's shocking. Yeah. I'd like, I'd, I would love to see somebody at home race him in a pool, because he's going to beat him, isn't he? Let's be honest. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I actually went on holiday and there were some photos of me. And yeah. um, I'd been in my relationship a few months, and as you do, I was just eating, like, takeaways, and we were just <laughs> watching films, and I put a bit of timber on, and I did. And, um, and the, under the photo, the comments were like, Jake's let himself go, he's got a bit chubby, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of made me chuckle a little bit, but it, it also made me think, right, I'm gonna, I need to get back into the gym. I do yeah. need to work it off. Um, and and I, think, I think it did work like that for me, but I just think it's horrible that people feel the need to do that, because nobody's yeah. perfect anyway. Do you know, so. it's, it's never mind fat shame, it's body shame. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. awful. It's yeah. truly, See, truly the awful. The awful thing about the Olympian is the fact that Irrespective of which country you come from, Ethiopia, I think mm. it comes from, you still have to qualify, you still have to swim yeah. at a certain speed. And I think it's terrible. And some of the comments in the paper today are really shocking. And he feels embarrassed. He, he says, because he's lost six stone already yeah. in order to qualify. So that's some achievement, yeah. really. Well, they should be like, celebrating, celebrating that he's lost yeah. that yeah. weight and he's actually in the Olympics. I think it's disgusting. I oh, think there's going to be a new Eddie the Eagle film made about him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think his story. Have you ever stopped going to the gym? Jake, for any reason? Um, right. I've always been sporty. Um, I've always loved playing football. Um, my dad was really into sports, boxing and stuff. So for me, I was always kind of involved in sport. It wasn't just the gym, it was everything. Um, and it, it, ca it makes me feel good. It, it, it gets rid of some of my um, anxiety and everything. Like, if, if, I'm, if I'm stressed out, I'll go to the gym and do a workout. So for me, it's just about keeping fit and healthy. And if you're happy in your own body, it shouldn't mm. really matter what. But when you else lost does. your dad and your brother, did that change your mind about life? It did actually. When when I lost my old man and my little brother, um, I probably stopped going as much because I thought I'm happy with a with a burger in my hand and a beer. So I need to live my life and not get and not get worried about looking good mm. and feeling good. Like obviously, I think men nowadays like to look uh, like groomed and stuff. Yeah. Um, but it made me stop going to the gym as much. I still went because it because it was my release. But um, not as much, definitely. I, I, I agree with you in terms of a, a stress relief. And I think if you've ever been proper poorly, you know, mm. if, if you've ever got to a point where you're, you're, you're ill and your body isn't working in the way it should, when you find yourself back on that road to health, you see your body in a very different light, which is why I get very angry about the whole thing yeah. of body shaming. As yeah. long as your body is working yeah. and doing what it's supposed to do, it's carrying you around, then you know, yeah. le leave off. Um, but I think, yeah, going to the gym can be as much of a mental release as it Definitely. can a, a physical thing. But it's interesting because people would look at you and you're incredibly well-groomed, you know, you're an, you're an attractive man and you obviously really <laughs> look after yourself. Um, but that's become, I think, more and more of a common thing. Rather than just celebrities and people we see in the, in the public eye, there's, there's a thing now that apparently it's called um, being a, a spornosexual. Have you heard about this? No. Which Apparently, means it's, what? It, well, it, it's quite interesting. Basically, it's it's a mixture of the two words, sports star and porn star, and it was um, <laughs> it was coined okay. by, as a media commentator, a man called Mark Simpson, and basically he was talking about the rise in men going to the gym, primarily for for their appearance rather than the health and mm. men mental and physical health that we were talking about because they, they'd lost their self-esteem because of the financial crisis and they felt that their self-worth before had been based on their job. Now it's based on how they look. Right. I, do you see this? Yeah, I definitely think that a any form of exercise, gym, outdoor, whatever you're going to do, should be, well, not should be, but is I see it more used as a tool to, like, really get things off your chest, focus on something. Like, I think about Joe and I, and when he's not working, or if, if you know what it's like, sometimes yeah. you go weeks, months without doing anything. If you don't have something regular, a pattern, something to get up for and go to, mm. I think it becomes quite... Um, depressive. So I think yeah. one of the best things to do is to get out and go and exercise and get it off and have a, a schedule and a regime almost to follow. Yeah. Like, like a routine. That. It's yeah. nice to have a routine. And also if you've it. lost your confidence, if you've lost your job and yeah. you've lost your confidence and your self-esteem, I get and you've got nothing to do, let's be honest, which is which is very depressing in itself. Yeah, yeah. I guess lots of people want to go to the gym to work off that angst or, you know, <clears> work off that lack of esteem. So and you I can see yeah. why. I think if that starts in a young age, like Mark goes to the gym two or three times a week, you don't know he's been but my two kids do as well now you know yeah. that because they've learnt from Mark not from me obviously <laughs> I never go to the gym I hate gyms but I, I'm doing walking so that's my way of keeping fit at yeah, the moment I'm doing steps and everything you don't have to do that I walk the dog and everything you look great but I think if it's in if it's in, if it's in if it's not from a young age then you can
carry it yeah. through your life. Sure, I never started. Our families never went to gyms or anything when no. we were growing up, did we? So it wasn't in our, in our makeup to go to the gym. For more loose women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.